Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Dennis on the Super Nintendo. SNES. Super NES. How, el how else can you call it? That's what I called it back in the day, I called it the Super NES. But I never had this game for the Super NES, I never owned the Super NES. My mate had this, owned the Super NES, he didn't have this game. But I did have this game on the Amiga 1200. Back in the day. Look at the options. So we we'll have it on easy or hard, easy. Auto run off, right, so okay. Happy with that. Yep, yeah, okay, it's made by Ocean. Well, one of their finest games. Mr. Wilson! <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> So I think this this game is actually built built. It's based on the films, not the cartoons. So here we are. I play it as Dennis. So you, you can run. So it's a platform game, as you can see. One I can really get on with on the Amiga. So I doubt if I'm going to get on very well with the Super Nintendo version. Plays pretty much the same. Music sounds pretty much the same. Can't shoot him. Oh. So I think I'll get five lives in this game. Oh, just been dripped. To be honest with you, I watched a cartoon back in the day, years and years ago in the 1980s. But I've never seen the films. Films, to be honest, didn't look very interesting to me or the records. Fucking gun if you can't shoot anything. Oh, you can climb up them. Uh, graphically, looks pretty good. Um, I suppose if you like your deadest, you probably like this game. I mean, it's not, I'm not saying it's a bad game because it ain't. It's just one of these games. I, did, I wasn't even interested, it, interested in this game back on the Amiga. I didn't buy it from my Amiga, it came through with the Amiga 1200. So it looks like we've got to pick up the coins and I think we've got to aggravate, or no, we've got to stay away from Mr. Wilson because he eventually will come and chase you. Bollocks. It's lucky I've got it on easy. Even though I know I'm going to be that much good at it. We got a fucking pea shoot or something. Bloody heck. So, as we can see, we got courage represented by those hearts. So every time you get hit, you lose her heart. Mm -hmm. All the time, I don't think. Mm -hmm. oh. No, we're not looking, because I think we've got it on easy, so mm -hmm. it takes a few hits. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. Oh, so I've got something. And you get a time limit. You get a time limit in this game, so... Mm -hmm. So it's probably... It's like an exploration game, so go around collecting all the stuff. So as you can see we're downstairs in the basement I think. So we get up there and get on top of those. What's that? A 
I bet that's an extra life. We've got six lives anyway, so this game, I can see, it's going to take forever. Maybe I should have put it on the harder level. You gotta be pixel perfect. No, can't fucking get up there. This is frustrating me already. No, you still can't get up there. What's the point of having that wardrobe there? Oh, I'm getting frustrated already with this game. Topped up our courage or six lives. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't get through the door. Mm -hmm. I think if we go upstairs, Mr. Wilson will start to um, chase you. Two of them. I think the point in a minute, Mr. Wilson will come chasing after him. It ain't that way. I say it's too easy, but I think, as I said, I could have put it on hard. So I know, unless I get fed up, this review is going to go on for some time. I think we're along carry on going down here. I don't think so. It's not fucking Nadia, is it? No, we can't get up there. No. Got that. Here he is, this Mr. Wilson. So you do lose a life if you if you if you get caught by Mr. Wilson, you lose a life. And don't tell me you've got to start the whole entire fucking level all over again. Are we still upstairs? No. This must be the bedroom. Mr. Wilson's bedroom. Oh, 
you can't you can't jump up there. You must be a way of getting past Mr. Wilson. Bloody hell. Get up all these ledges. Oh, oh no! So you gotta do it all over again. All the level, all over again. Right, so you've got to get up on that jack in the box, I think, before Mr. Wilson catches you. So I think what you've got to do. Right, let's try doing that. I couldn't even figure this game out back in the day when I had it for the Amiga, so I ain't gonna have no chance now. So you can't go through that way, you've got to... Damn. So when you run out of courage, you lose another life. As always, Mr Wilson gets you out, you lose a life. So all we need to do is try and get on that jack-in-the-box before Mr Wilson comes. Catches you. Right, here it is. No, no, no! Oh no, he's caught me. Oh, he's taking me the other way this time. Right, that must be a way out. If it ain't, I don't know. Oh, come on! Got it on easy so you can not lose so much carriage. Yeah, because you got a, the only way of getting on these uh, wardrobes is jumping on that jack in the box before Mr. Wilson catches you. I wonder if you can fire. Oh, right. So I've got a cap hole now. Well, that's how you do it. Oh, it's fuck all that way. So we got past him. Right, is there anything in these suitcases? Oh, what's that lever? Did I put it down? Was it up when I pulled it down? I can't really remember now. Oh, where's Mr. Wilson? Oh, where Mr. Wilson is? Where are you, Mr. Wilson? Bollocks. Ignore that. Courage is going down now. I've still got three lives left. Oh, yeah. It's getting a bit frustrating now. So it looks like you can get hit at least about three or four times and you lose um, you lose your, one of your courage hearts. Careful now, I'm gonna lose another life. But I think you've pretty much seen the game. So, do I really want to continue? No, I'm not gonna continue because I think we've played it long enough. So, 
Yeah, it's one of these games I couldn't figure out back in the day for my Amiga anyway, so... Yeah, it's alright, but... It's okay, I guess. But it's just one I really couldn't really get into that much. It's one of the frustrating games back in the day when I had for the Amiga. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.